Welcome back. We are here on Ether looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, December 9th, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Uh, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon where you can get access to our full technical analysis. And that means analysis of all the commodities that are available over at Etoro, uh, the signal service, and also our live trades, that we, which we do on a weekly basis now. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we have continued this uh, little bit of rally. You know, see, this is a real rally. Yesterday, it tried to rally. It broke down again. And today, we are trading actually upwards. So it is improving, but this is not a very encouraging sign for the US dollar index. Um, when we see moves like this, then you should become uh, encouraged and move like that and so on. But this is moves of, of basically peanuts. It's uh, not moving uh, far enough in order to basically uh, have any momentum uh, behind it. So what we'll most likely see here is something like this. We'll travel towards the 20 exponential and then go down again, back and down. And this is just probably just a continuation of this downtrend. So technical indicators for this are turning around. So there is we'll probably, we'll probably see some momentum to the upside uh, tomorrow or on Thursday or Friday. But at this stage, it is not. It is moving really, really, really slowly. We are nearly oversold. The CCI is turning around, the stochastic is turning around, and the MACD is also becoming flat now. So we could test the 20 uh, exponential moving average uh, in the end of this week, maybe. Well, let's look at oil. So oil has been really choppy today. And as I said yesterday, the furthest I think that oil will go to the downside is roughly here. So we'll have the 20 exponential moving this way. And we have the very lows here, and the low, previous lows from last week of $44. Um, that is down here. And that's probably as far as this market will go. We may see an additional drop tomorrow. But I think there is going to be a turnaround at this area here. We are clearly going to higher levels. So you could make the case that we are basically in a channel uh, trending upwards at this stage. We have the tops here and the lows here. And then we're just trading towards the 50. So we're just zigzagging within this small channel. Uh, technical indicators for oil, they're looking very bearish at this stage. So expect a pullback towards the 20 exponential. And that is basically at this stage a buying opportunity, even though demand is, well, not really out there as been. But you could trade the fundamentals of the world economy, or you could basically just trade the technical analysis and just, um, well, trade with the market and make money. And uh, that is probably the right thing to do as this, at this point. So pull back towards the 20 exponential is a buying opportunity. Uh, so at this stage, not the interest in basically selling this until we get to 50. So natural gas. So we have fallen quite a bit again today. We also tried to rally, but we got to the top of this previous candlestick here. And that usually is a really bad sign. If we can take out the previous highs here, then that means that we are going to continue going lower. But there's not a lot of room to the downside in the RSI. The target here, or in, where I think that we are going to go, is towards the 200 moving average. So we can look at the Fibonacci retracements here, and we can see that the 60 Fibonacci retracement is 61.8 is just at the 200 moving average. So I think when we get to this stage or get close to that, we're going to see a lot of buyers coming in and pressure this up. If we rally from here, then these previous highs, of course, are resistant. Also, um, these previous highs have seen 2.6. And of course, the 20 exponential moving average is right there. That is um, obviously no interest in basically buying at this stage. I want to see how far down the rabbit hole this basically goes. Because if we break the 200 moving average, which is highly unlikely at this stage, 
because the RSI would be, well, down to 10 or single digits, um, then we'll go significantly lower, down to 2.0. And um, I don't think that we're going there at this stage. Um, we could rally, if you can see these technical indicators, CCI is, CCI is turning around, Stochastic is turning around, and the, the uh, MACD is basically um, very bearish at this point. So, so we'll see. It is not a market I would consider uh, entering at any stage at this point, either for, for a buy-in or a sell. Uh, if we rally up towards the, the 20 exponential and then turn around, then I would consider basically selling it towards the 20, 200. And if we break uh, all the way down to the 200, then of course, I would consider buying this to the upside. But I do not think that we're going back to 3.38. That is, um, uh, that is probably uh, long gone at this stage. But these size of uh, 2.9 or 3, that is plausible within the next uh, month or two. So let's look at gold. We can see that we continue our rally up towards the 50 moving average. And now we have found uh, resistance here at the 50 moving average. I think it's just a matter of time before some of these indicators starts uh, turning around. It may well be that we break above the 50 moving average. Yes, that is possible. We have done it several times uh, in the past. But I would be surprised if we broke this resistance line here. So if that is the case, that we're going to break this resistance line, first of all, we will be significantly overbought when we get there. But I don't think that is going to happen. We may rally up towards it and then turn around from there. And we're most likely also going to see some uh, a lot of back and forwards in the next um, probably month or two. Uh, and the reason why I say that is because the thing that's going to set this off, really going to set this off, is going to be additional stimulus. It's going to be interaction by central banks. It's going to be more stimulus. And that is just not in the cards at this point. And therefore, it would be really strange if we start rallying significantly now without any stimulus. If that were the case, then we should have rallied here. We should have rallied over here and so on and so on. We didn't. What this market has been waiting for is additional stimulus. And, uh, and that is going to uh, push this, uh, the oil price of gold towards uh, 1900, 2000, 2100 and beyond that. But I think that we're just going to stay within this triangle here for the foreseeable future into 2021. And then we'll probably break out some around this area here to the upside. Because we are going to go significantly higher in this market in the foreseeable future. Because countries need their economy to come back to uh, pr levels prior to the coronavirus. And the only way they can do that is by basically pumping money into the markets. So at this stage... A pullback towards the 200 is a buying opportunity. Uh, a rejection of the, the trend line here or the 50 moving average is a selling opportunity. But these are very risky trades just to be added. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button, the bell button. To see our newest videos and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. And the link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.